Can you heal your brain on NoFap even if you keep relapsing about twice a month? Scandinavian Bob here, hi. As someone who has been involved in the porn addiction community for 12 years now, I get a lot of questions about relapses. So today we are going to discuss whether you can still heal if you relapse about two times a month or something close to that. Now, first of all, we need to understand that guys do nofap for many different reasons. And some people like to use the term nofap when they actually mean semen retention. And so listen up here. If you are just doing nofap in order to retain and you have no history of porn use, of being addicted to porn, and you otherwise live a very healthy lifestyle, <laughs> then you have nothing to heal from. I mean, even if you relapse a couple of times a month without using porn, then sure you might lose a tiny bit of the energy increase people notice that they are building up on a semen retention streak. But that energy will be back in just a few days days after your release, so we can't even use the word heal in your case. So in short, of course you can experience massive benefits even if you relapse a couple of times a month if you're not addicted to porn and you do it for the semen retention energy effects. In fact, I sometimes do retention in cycles and release about once every second week or so, <laughs> without porn of course. And then I don't even call that a relapse because it was a planned cycle. Now, what about if you have been using porn on a regular basis in your previous years? You see, regular porn use can alter your brain a bit, even if you're not addicted to it. And especially if you have a real porn addiction, then it has altered several things inside your brain. So let's start with the scenario if you have been using porn in moderation and you don't think you are addicted to it. Then I would say, yes, you will reap benefits of doing NoFap, even if you happen to sleep twice a month. But you would not get to 100% optimal results. Especially not if those relapses are several hour binges. Then no. So the short answer is, if you go from, say, using three short porn sessions per week to only relapsing twice a month and you're not a full-blown addict, you will definitely see some good improvements. Check this out. One study took a look at whether abstaining from adult sites for three weeks would improve the skill of postponing gratification. Yes, they divided people into two groups and they had one group refrain from their favorite food groups for three weeks while not giving up porn. The other group could keep living like normal, but they were not allowed to watch any porn. And the result? The group who stopped watching the porn for three weeks saw a much greater increase in their ability to postpone gratification. You see, they tested both groups with various tests before the experiment. And then the groups showed similar results. And both groups practiced self-control in quite a significant way during the experiment. I mean, staying away from all your favorite foods for three weeks is not nothing. That take some serious self-control as well. So then when they repeated the test again after those three weeks, both groups saw an improvement in their ability to delay gratification. But the group that took a break from the porn, they saw a much greater improvement. And that should really tell us something. Because these guys were probably not even addicted to porn, or then some of them had only a very mild addiction. But the point here is that it was a three-week study, and if you relapse twice a month and you're not addicted, you wouldn't really get the full package we're after. Not those 100% benefits. But that study was very interesting, wouldn't you say? Because even though taking a break from eating your favorite foods for three weeks takes a lot of willpower. It paled in comparison with the porn abstinence group. Again, that should really tell us something about how powerful living a no porn lifestyle can be in so many areas of our lives. Now, what about if you are truly addicted to porn then? What would happen if you relapse twice a month then? Well, now it gets a bit more complicated because there are several brain changes that happen when you develop a real addiction. But 
If you go from relapsing, say, three, four times a week to only relapsing twice a month, your dopamine system will actually upregulate a bit. So yes, you are making progress and you should be really proud about that and that you are on your way. But you can't stay there because with two relapses a month, unfortunately, you are still way below the average optimal functioning dopamine system. We know this because, for example, the addiction expert Anna Lemke says in her great book Dopamine Nation that Two weeks after quitting an addiction, the dopamine levels are still painfully below average. And so now you say, okay, but what kind of an addiction are we talking about here? Well, you have to remember now that all addictions, no matter what you are addicted to, share these four fundamental brain changes. Yes, as you can see on the screen right now. And right now we are talking about your dopamine system and the desensitization part of the brain changes. So if you then relapse twice a month or thereabout, you might be a bit better off from your previous life. And that's good. But it's still far from feeling good. And here we can actually use the word heal and say, no, unfortunately not. You will not fully heal your dopamine system if you're addicted and you have a pretty heavy relapse twice a month or so. And also not even if it's a milder relapse. Although you might be upregulating your dopamine system a little bit compared to how you were doing back when you were a heavy user. But again, honestly, unfortunately, it's far from good enough. But then we have the sensitization part, which basically means a super memory of pleasure. Yes, sensitization is what gives you those powerful urges and cravings to use your drug of choice. And this brain change is even worse when it comes to healing and won't heal at all if you keep using it twice a month, not even a single bit. Let's put it like this. Do you think an alcoholic person would get rid of his strongest alcohol cravings if he binged on vodka twice a month? No, unfortunately, that doesn't happen. And it's the same with porn addiction. In fact, intermittent use may actually make the sensitized pathways even stronger. I know that sounds strange, but Gary Wilson was of that opinion too. You see, with intermittent use, you are basically teaching your brain to not fully let go of the addiction and that all the brain has to do to get its fix is to give you powerful cravings and you will give in every second week or so. So you are reinforcing the pattern and thus the sensitized pathways. Yes, yeah, so sensitization is perhaps the biggest part of an addiction. So to sum it up here, one could really say that no, if you are a heavy porn addict, you will not heal your addiction if you keep using twice a month. And that's not something I like to say, but I have to give you guys the honest truth. And so what about porn-induced ED then? Can you heal your PIED if you keep using it twice a month? Well, believe it or not, I have actually seen a few guys recover from PIED, even with some relapses here and there, about maybe one to twice a month during my 12 years I have been involved in the porn addiction community. However, I have to say, at least 99% of guys with PIED will have to do better than that if they want to become fully functional again. Unfortunately, that's just the case. For the vast majority of guys, two weeks streaks are just not enough to heal your brain if you have PIED. Now, a pretty big number can recover their PIED with 90 days though. And even more of the guys have recovered by the fourth and fifth month mark. Okay, so I hope this answered some of your questions. Consider subscribing for more videos like this. And if you need help with staying away from porn and you haven't already, then make sure to grab my 90 day no PMO advice and tool guide that you can see on the screen right here or by using the link under the video. And to learn more about the four addiction related brain changes, I highly recommend you take a look at the video you can see on the screen right here.